Hi everyone! So I know I don't have any makeup on right now, obviously minus my face makeup, which is what this whole video is about. Um, this is not my everyday foundation routine, this is my foundation routine for special events. Um, it's just kind of like my base for probably a lot of the looks that I'm doing in the future, you know? Um, yeah, so for like homecoming looks, prom looks, wedding looks, I haven't done one of those yet, but um, you know what I mean, or for photos, um, this is a foundation that I use and the contouring and stuff. Um, I use Makeup Forever HD foundation for the face um, because it's awesome and it gives you really good coverage. And then I use MAC Pro Longwear Concealer for underneath my eyes and on blemishes, which that stuff is really, really good for concealing too. And for powder, I use MAC Mineralized Skin Finish, which is basically a um, powder foundation in itself. So it will give you a lot of extra coverage and then um, I also use NARS Laguna to contour all over my face. Um, yeah, and then I use Benefits High Beam to highlight my face. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys like this video. And make sure to keep on watching if you guys want to know how I do my face makeup like this. So I'm going to start off by putting my hair back just like that. Taking Clinique's Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel, I'm going to moisturize my face. Since this is for homecoming or any formal event, um, we definitely will be needing to prime our face. And I'm using Alza's Professional Matte Prime. I take about that much. And this is just a primer that I like to use. It has this phthalic acid in it which is good for um, helping clear up your skin. And it also is matte, which is good for me because I have oily skin. And yeah. I'm going to be taking Makeup Forever HD foundation. And I don't know where the color is on this. I feel like it's 117, yeah. It's 117, which is a little bit pale, but that's okay. So I'm just going to take maybe about half a pump, just about that much. Using a foundation brush, I'm just going to start putting this on my face. And I swear I'm not that pale, but the lighting in here is making me look so pale like I have like no color to my skin at all, but I swear I'm, I'm really not that pale. Um, the lady who um, matched me to this makeup, I'm a little bit annoyed with her because this is definitely lighter for my face, which is okay because it is going into winter, but um, it's definitely lighter for my face than I need, but um, whatever. So anyway, now I'm just going to be taking Max Pro Longwear Concealer. And I also got this lighter now. I did purposely get this lighter because underneath my eyes I like to go a few shades lighter than my skin tone so that they look brighter. Um, so this is in NC20. Looks like this. The only con to this concealer is that when you pump it out, it... Only bad thing about this concealer is you can't really control the pump. So you can't really control how much product you're getting. And I've already tried opening it up. And it won't open up, but um, this was like barely a pump. And this will totally be enough. So I'm just going to be taking a concealer brush and putting this under my eyes. I hate the lighting in here. Every time I look back at the camera, I just look like this big pale mess. And I'm so frustrated right now. I need to figure out better lighting. Um, but yeah, after I conceal underneath my eyes, I concealed any blemishes that I have. And now I'm going to be taking my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural. This is a brand new one, so that's why it looks so good. And I am in medium. So I'm just going to be taking... Ooh, that one was so brand new. It's still the little plastic thing on it. Um, I'm just going to be taking that with a fluffy brush. And I barely touch it. And I don't really powder up my face like Mad Woman or anything. Just enough to set it. Now for the fun part, highlighting and contouring. So I contour first. I take NARS Laguna Bronzer. It looks like that. And I just take it with like an angled brush. I know it has like a pinky tone to it, but I swear it's clean. It's just stained. 
And I just take some of this and I get off some of the excess. I just start contouring up here a little. And then right and kind of suck in. Right in there. I don't need a brush for this. Um, I'm just going to be taking Benefits High Beam. Which is just like a liquid creamy highlighter. Looks like that. I just take a little bit on my finger. It's too much. Okay, like maybe that much. And I just do it right up here. Alright, so that is my foundation routine for um, special events like homecoming and stuff. And um, this is, I know, pretty heavy. Uh, you could wear this on a daily basis. I wouldn't. I don't. Uh, I just think it's a little bit too much um, for me personally. But for special events, I definitely will wear this, especially for homecoming. I know it's super heavy um, coverage because Makeup Forever is the definitely... Um, the Makeup Forever HD foundation is a super heavy coverage foundation with the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. That's really good coverage too. And MAC's Mineralized Skin Finish is a powder foundation in itself. So it's really heavy coverage, um, but with the contouring and highlighting, it makes it look really um, good too for pictures. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you found it helpful. And enjoyed this video and found it helpful. And um, yeah, so uh, thank you guys for watching. Bye.